now time little bit so there are so many kinds of the breathing techniques available but understand i told you inhaling from the right nostril inhaling like this lifting your sternum up understand your lungs are major portion of the lungs are always on the back side the front side is very less that's why you have to lift then only you can breathe to the back side back lobes that's why if you want to exercise the lungs it's on the back you know when you lift your latissimus dorsi you are mainly rhomboid mainly your scapula and when you are doing a down dog you know, so all these whatever you do strengthening the respiratory system if you really look you know, it is all the back you know which is constantly worked you know constantly worked the best breathing now the crisis of breathing when your lungs capacity is low those with the pneumonia those with the lungs they should not lie down on the back because back side the lungs are there so they are pressed your capacity comes down if you have already asthma or this thing that's why every day in tradition i told you this is the way to do it in this way you know a corona affected patient and not able to breathe he should not lie down on his back he should lie down only on abdomen like this and he should inhale as much as deep as he can and lifting the legs makes further easier you see like this easier inhale all these are inhaling exhaling all these inhaling exhaling inhaling exhaling ekam dvenam trenam chaturam inhale exhale inhale ujjayi exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale free your back inhale exhale 10 to 15 minutes you can do like this i know all these postures that's why there's a lot of postures in this like this inhale exhale inhale exhale all these are very powerful breathing techniques a doctor will make a corona patient affected only lying down on the abdomen front because there's a way your lungs are not compressed they get oxygen when you lie down prone postures the purpose is that you know, understand that's why prone postures are the must <coughs> then only we going to other postures similarly after doing this we go into this again back if you observe back it is all back again up <coughs> abdomen uh, kapotasana all this back now again freeing the back see this very powerful down dog why powerful because entirely back only it's all back posture very powerful rhomboid posture scapular posture trapezius inferior entire latissimus dorsi hip extensor it is very powerful for the lungs and when you jump like this or when you walk where the load is on the back muscles intrinsic extrinsic muscles the only way you can exercise that control the lungs is like this that's why entire yoga is this particular krama vinyasa flow is only for corona it is it is to prevent your it is to conserve your oxygen don't think there is a separate yes there are separate pranayamas another pranayama is the breathing is called with open mouth surya bedi and ujjayi pranayam inhaling from mouth it is like this exhale at once inhaling from mouth hold it for you know so comfortable one or two seconds like
six to seven, you do these breaths with the mouth. Then once again, second time. Whether you have a pneumonia or any time when you have a lack of breath, the way to do is push your shoulders like this. Keep your elbows back, inhaling from mouth because you all now done supply. So mouth is required to bring it in. That's why how to use the mouth. So second round again. Two rounds, six breaths, two seconds gap, and two rounds. And this is, you have to do, there is a call, you know, spirometer. You will get on the net called, uh, you know, uh, to check your residual volume, whether proper or not, whether lungs are healthy or not. You will get, uh, you know, <clears throat> so what do you call is, uh, <clears throat> I will tell you that name, is a technical name, it's a spirometer. So where you have to keep in your mouth and you have to just blow your entire, your entire mouth and so blow using that, just like this. <coughs> if it crosses 550, by one another, <coughs> if it crosses if it is less than 250 liters, means <coughs> per minute or so, and then your 250 liters per hour, it indicates. If it is less than 250 liters, you are in a danger zone. You must do the breathing then. You start doing the breathing from the mouth like this, once in a while. So morning, every half of one hour, you keep doing this. It will help you. And there's a way to strengthen your lungs. So that is a way to inhale from, that, that is also called a kind of bastrika. It is also called shitkrama bastrika. In there are many kinds of shitkrama bastrika. This is called shitkrama bello. When you have a cold, when your lungs are compromised and then the bellow breathing, box breathing. This is a forced inhalation with the mouth. And these are inhaling from mouth and expulsion using the mouth. And if I read the shloka from that text, you will understand. Even the time permits, I will read on my local language. And uh, when I webcast, when I give in live, my program regularly comes on TV. On TV, in my local language, I already explained about this. You know, so it is there with the scripture you know, by reading, how to practice that I have given. So now, there is a time where that breathing comes. That's called Shikrama 
Bhastrika. So, we, it is very helpful to practice now. And it is better to even cough. So, after six breaths, it is better to even cough. You know, it is like this. Hold two seconds. Again, just now I have shown. But at the end of the first cycle, again you do. <coughs> Why cough? Why sneezing? As I told you, the nashya, that herbal powder makes you sneeze because it expels it expectorant, it expulses all the mucus deposited. When your lungs contract and cough means all your lungs contract, especially back. And when you cough, when you sneeze, so it squeezes. So you can't sneeze, that's why they said you cough. At the end of every bhastrika of six cycles, six breaths, with mouth, two seconds, gap, followed by cough. So there are so many ways in yoga. It is taking away the gas from the abdomen. There is a powerful way of working on stomach to clear acidity problem, gastritis when you have. The way to remove, that is called Plavani Pranayam, inhaling to stomach. This is for the lungs. That is why I told, so that Shurna, you know, when you keep that in your nose, that powder, and you at one sneeze, 16, 3 sneezes, 4 sneezes, 5 sneezes, 16 sneezes, and it clears your lungs. So, when any of you have asthma, pneumonia, once in a while, every day, morning once, evening once, take that nasha, that powder in your mouth, or you do cough like this. <laughs> Contract your There's a cough. Now you are getting actual cough. Your lungs contract. That's why when you drink water into the when you drink water, fill the stomach with the salt water and then keep your three fingers into the mouth and suppose your lung capacity is low and low is, and drink one, one and a half liter until your stomach is full salt water, look like one liter water and one teaspoon, one, one and a half teaspoon of salt you add into that and drink until you get vomiting, drink, 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 then you will feel nausea and keep the three fingers into the tongue and do this and you <laughs> comes all my muscles now you can I can see they're contracting your lungs powerful yoga means what can you do that that's what That's for what? It is to clear upper throat. This. Is These are all yoga mudras which can be used at this time. <coughs> if anything is there comes or calf comes. Every time you do this, you will cough. <coughs> it comes. <coughs> you can see the reaction in my, in my eyes. You know. <coughs> These are 
are the ways of strengthening your lungs. If your lungs are weak, <coughs> these are the things which helps. These are the specialized techniques. That's why you said yoga is not, you know, so it is not that what you read in the book. It is a practice. When you attend all these ashrams, you will learn this. In crisis situation, and such techniques are very useful. <coughs> I have given you so many ways now. Drinking water, taking it out. And doing, you know. So, <coughs> kapala dhauti or kapota dhauti. sneeze, I can sneeze. I want to cough, I can cough. That's called yoga. Yoga means you have complete control on your system. <coughs> That's why yoga means not simply that muscle, this muscle, bicep, tricep and hamstrings, cough. No. These are the techniques. If you learn, very useful. Play again. Listen. As you listen, you will get it. So today, these are all techniques. Listen, again practice. <coughs> listen and practice. Then you will be able to do. And you can see my nostrils. Ujjayi, Udgita Ujjayi. Clearing the throat. Can you see my nostrils? How they vibrate? It's not snoring. It is called Udgita Ujjayi. It's not Ujjayi, it means only simple one Ujjayi. That's not the only Ujjayi. <coughs> Udgita Ujjayi. This is Udgita Ujjayi, which clears the throat because the coronavirus is going to be there in this for four or five days. But before it manifests asymptomatically, up to 14 days it brooded, but you will not have a symptom. Some people will have symptom. Some people may not have symptom. That's why every day nothing wrong during this period to do it. <coughs> Practice.